Welcome! In this video we're going to take a look at how you can build a WAN monitoring dashboard with LangGuardian. My name is Dara Delaney from Netford. So let's get straight into it. I'm logged on to my LangGuardian here. So I've already created this WAN dashboard, just, just called the school WAN links. I'm setting up a system here to monitor a bunch of connections to a couple of schools. So you can either add one or click on existing dashboard, just go in and edit that. So you have the option here of change the title or as I said, you can also add a new one. So you, if you want to start off a blank canvas, a brand new dashboard. The next step, what I recommend you do is for every subnet that you have, whether it's in a remote location or whether it's local, define it as, in, as a report variable in LangGuardian. It makes setting up reports and trends so much easier. So to do that, go to Customization, select the Report Variables option, and for each remote site, add in the subnet or subnets associated with that. So I need to add a new one here. We call it um, call it high school five. Okay, it's a subnet. The value is ten dot one dot one dot zero slash twenty four, and also comma separate if you have multiples, no space ten dot five dot five dot zero slash 24. So for each location you can define the range of subnets associated with it. Give a description if needed. All traffic, sorry, all associated with high school 5. Okay, so that's my report variable. So I've defined them all here. So next step then is to create a trend graph and also a report for that location. To do that, click on all reports and select the very first one here, which is top protocols. In the field source or destination, just click on it and select your school. So in my case, high school five and run the report. So this then shows me all traffic associated with that school. Or in your case, if it's a remote site, all traffic going to and from that site. Next step is to click on actions and you want to trend this. So we call this high school five. Make sure total is ticked and create. Optional, but it may be useful down the road is you can also save this report off. So I'm going to do that as well. So high school five, top applications, give a description if needed. So this will show me top applications associated with this remote site. Save it off. That report then you can access via the uh, all reports under under the my report section here. You can access your customized reports. So I have quite a few at this stage. But the main purpose of this video is to show you how you can add these these trends and reports to a dashboard. So here's I'm on my dashboard. You click on the edit here. In the box I've got the new trend, let's see where it is, here it is here, high school five. When I'm at, I'm also gonna add high school two. And if I need, I can also add some reports, but for the moment, I'm gonna leave it on the trends. So I'm gonna move this one up to the top. As you can see, you can move things around by just clicking on them and dragging. Change the widths if needed, or you may even can add, you can add an extra column. Just gonna leave that off, I don't want three columns, two is fine. So save the dashboard. And now I've got a, a view here of all of my links in one place. And if there's a problem like this peak here, I can simply click on that peak, see what applications were going up and down the link, drill down and get some metadata. In this case, we can see the files that were copied up and down that WAN link. And then drill down further, you can even get things like usernames by clicking on the button, on the button here at the top. So that's how you can build a WAN dashboard. Remember the steps, add your variables, create your trend, and then add that trend to the dashboard.